Hello and welcome back to Will It Work. Today we're going to take a look at making the longest possible lightning ear pods that we can. I'm sure most of you are familiar with these. These are the little earbuds or headphones or whatever you want to call them that Apple ships with every single iPhone and they are also sold separately. So there are literally billions of these on the planet. So how do we make this as long as we can possibly go? Well, there are lightning extension cables and Apple only recommends that they go up to six and a half feet. And looking around on Amazon, I didn't see anything longer than that. And six and a half feet's not really anything to write home about. Now, if there's some way we could convert these lightning ear pods to USB, then we could go up to about 16 feet with USB 2. USB 3 is actually shorter, interestingly enough. But uh, 16 feet is not really all that long either. Now, you can go longer if you want to use powered hubs or active repeaters, but I want this to be totally powered by just the iPhone's battery itself. So, there is one other thing we can do if we can get it to USB where we can make it quite a bit longer. Okay, so we can convert USB to Ethernet cable, or in this case CAT6, using these two adapters here. Now I've featured them before in a video I did last year where I hooked them up to a 100 foot CAT6 cable and demonstrated copying a file. We'll up the ante a little bit with this video because unlike copying a file, when, when there's an error, the USB host can say, hold on a minute, I didn't get that last bit, let's try it again. When you're streaming real time media, like we're gonna do if we play a song over the iPhone to these ear pods, and there's any kind of problem, you're gonna notice it right away. Also, this is a new cable that is 150 feet long, which is the maximum capacity that these two adapters support. So 150 feet is pretty long. Just to give you an idea, that is roughly the same length of the Statue of Liberty from her feet all the way to the top of her torch. So if you can imagine standing on the platform around the torch, putting in your ear pods, throwing this cable over the side, all the way down to your friend who's standing on her feet, he plugs it into the iPhone and pipes you up some music. I would love to demonstrate that to you, but I'm not in New York City and uh, National Park Services tends to frown when you try to sneak up into the torch. So I'm gonna have to show you a different example to give this some scope so you can see how long this cable really is. Okay, so originally I was gonna take you out to an American football field because 150 feet is the exact distance from the goal line to the 50 yard line, but here in my town where we have the public football fields, they are too close to the interstate and it's just too loud to pull off this kind of video. So instead, I'm gonna take you around my backyard. So what I have here is just my iPhone and I have my third party lightning to USB adapter, which I showed off in my last video. I really like that. It's worked with everything I throw against it. And then that is plugged into the ethernet to USB adapters we talked about earlier and then into the cat 6 cable. So what I'm going to do here is just real simple I'm going to start playing some music And you will hear it coming out of the iPhone speaker for now And then let's take a walk around my backyard Forgive the shaky cam, please And the audio quality is probably not going to be as nice as my regular videos Just using the internal microphone here We're going to go around the back here. I've got four trees. I've got this wrapped around. 150 feet, one Statue of Liberty. Come around this table, I'm just gonna put in the tripod real quick. Okay, so here are the lightning ear pods, the lightning connectors right here. And we're gonna use this little Belkin adapter that converts lightning headphones into USB-C. Belkin doesn't make this anymore, but you can find them on eBay. There's a guy that's got a ton of these new in box for like $20. And then I'm just gonna simply put on this changer here to make it USB-A. And then I'm gonna plug it into the other end of the CAT6 cable and the adapter. But with any luck, we'll get some sound here through the 
Can you hear that? Volume works. That is very loud. That'd be painful to put in your ears. And it sounds great, by the way. There's no degradation at all. Pause works. Start song again. Skip the next track. Go back with three clicks. Yeah, everything works great. Okay, I'm going to stop it here. And now let's test out the microphone that is built into these ear pods. I'm going to go over real quick and start up the voice memo app and I'll be right back. Okay, so the voice memo app is recording. So hopefully everything I'm saying to you right now is being recorded clear across the backyard on the iPhone. Hopefully everything sounds crystal clear. So let's turn this off and go listen to it and see how it sounds. Okay, so let's check out the recording and see how it sounds. Okay, so the voice memo app is recording. So hopefully everything I'm saying to you right now is being recorded clear across the backyard on the iPhone. Hopefully everything sounds crystal clear. So let's turn this off and go listen to it and see how it sounds. Hey, you know what? That sounds great. No problems with that recording at all. So the ear pods worked brilliantly at 150 feet. Everything from listening to music, the remote controls, and the microphone to record audio just work exactly like if you just plugged them in directly. This is awesome. This has really been successful. Um, I did try 200 feet initially and that did not work. So I don't know exactly where the cutoff is. I doubt it's exactly 150 feet, but somewhere between 150 and 200, these adapters will stop working. They are USB 1.1 to Cat6 or Ethernet cable adapters. There are uh, USB 2.0 adapters that will take it over 200 feet, but they require external power. And I really wanted to do everything in this video directly off the iPhone's battery. And so that's why I chose these and everything works just great. So anyway, that's all for today. I hope you're enjoying these videos. If you are, please like and subscribe. I'll be back soon, but that's all for now. Take care.